All right, we are ready for concrete. It's supposed to be here in about an hour. So we're, we've got to move the trailer, get everything cleared out, get our boots out, get our uh, rakes, power trowel, power screed, all that stuff. We'll get it out, get it ready, and we will pour concrete. Uh, 18 yards for 28 by 32. It's also going to have a six by six curb on top all the way around just to build it up a little bit higher.
Okay, so we've got it all poured. Chad's just doing the finishing touches for the drain with the bull float to try to slope, make sure we've got a good smooth approach down in there. Came out really well. So we're going to go to the rental place and get a, another power trowel. We, we're going to need two for this one. Maybe stop for donuts. <laughs> So now we're cutting in the doorways. Cut that down so that when the when the garage door comes down, this slope part, when if the rain hits the door, it'll come down and out. Do you want to? Is yours done? Or? lower as far as a steeper angle no that's I think that's good I was trying to match yours did I go steeper I think that's plenty just needs to be five or ten degrees could you get the maybe a stick of rebar and the, the rebar cutter I think if we had um, eight inch pieces so that we bury it. So there's only like five inches sticking up, four and a half. So we don't really have to trowel the edges much, do we? No. We're ready to use the pizza pan. We'll put that on. And we'll just go over this whole thing one time, see how she looks. Okay, so we are back. We've the concrete has set up. <clears throat> you can see we've put rebar pins all the way around, and then we'll put a, a row of rebar all the way around. But we're going to build up a little curb about six inches high, five and a half inches high. What we're going to do is leave the, the forms on, and we're going to secure these to that, and we'll just go right around. And then we'll pour after we get it all set up going to do the entire perimeter first. We'll go all the way around. So I've set this on top of the 2x6 form underneath it. Uh, we'll use the forms to keep everything straight on top. So that's creating the outside part. We've, we pre-cut 
a bunch of these. They're, I um, can't remember how long they're. Quite long. <laughs> it doesn't really matter the length. We're going to just secure those with screws. So I've lined this up with the corner so that we can go that way and it'll maintain the same size of the slab. And it has begun. <laughs> okay, we'll do one down this end. Let me bring the camera over here so you can see this side of it. Okay, I've done one on this end. I'll go down here. We'll put one right at the joint so that it connects the two together. It's important to make sure the form is down tight. So push that down. Nice, very solid. We have a scab piece here that we've put on, so we'll, we'll just put one on each side of it. There won't be a lot of pressure out on this. It's only going to be five or six inches high. I'll just screw one on top here. We brought two lengths of these. The longer ones we're using to come up. We're going, this, these are measured exact so that when we put the other two by six over here, we'll have exactly six inches uh, thick. I think old McKeed is finally dying. So, around we go. We have the exterior form boards all up now, so now we're going to put on rebar. This is really going to tie it in nicely. So you can see we've got the rebar put in place. We have the inside one. We're putting these across so they maintain six inches all the way down through, all the way around. Uh, so we should be ready to pour concrete maybe tomorrow or the next day, depending on the weather. And we just finished break. I think I need a nap. She made us zucchini bread with chocolate chips. <laughs> they was great. And a cup of coffee sitting outside in this. Man, it was like uh, at a fancy restaurant. I loved it. So we're pouring concrete. We're about halfway across that back wall, a little over half. We'll see if we can get that all today. It's kind of looking a little hazy, like it might rain. I don't know. We started out with 15. We're mixing this all with, by, with uh, 80 pound sacrete bags, concrete mix. Uh, we've gone, I don't know, see, three. 31, we'll go close to 40 feet with 15 bags and we're pouring six inches wide, five and a half inches high. It, it's uh, less than a yard that we're doing. So to get a concrete truck, they have a, I think it's a five yard minimum. So Chad's a concrete truck driver. When you do it like this, you want to make sure that you get 
co uh, the concrete underneath these cross blocks that hold everything together to give us a nice smooth top when we strip the forms. So you can see the pins. We cast those in the concrete and we tied rebar to that. So it's right in the middle, really solid. Okay, it's winding down. We've got this poured all the way around, all the way around the back. We've done the front. We've got maybe two or three more bags of sacrete to mix up. Then this part is done, we let it cure. Okay, forms are almost all stripped. Once we get those done, we'll pull them apart, put them near the trailer, and then we're going to load them on at the end of the day, get them out of here. <laughs> okay, we are all cleaned up, ready to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button, make a comment, Tap the bell, that way you get notified. <laughs> Thanks for instructing me about that in the last video. And if you're not a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. So we'll see you in the next one.